You live on Scottish morning, who's that? Thank you, do Scotty. Ah, Kareem, how are you What about that? How magic are we, Kareem? <laughs> That's brilliant, Scotty. Listen, I thought I would phone because I think it's it's a I think it's a tragedy tragedy. Obviously, obviously, what happened about the the other night, the football, but something else, and it's more in your field to do with radio. Ah. Uh, and shall we say another one has. Another one bites the dust. Oh, no. And, and I'll say the station because it doesn't exist anymore, Scotty, but it was Pure Radio Scotland. And um, is it gone? Uh, they stopped yes, th- this morning, put it on the radio, and it was not coming up. And I went into work and I did a wee Google search, and they just, they, it's closed. So the, the, there was a message out on their Facebook saying it was fun while it lasted. It lasted four years, and it just they weren't getting across to the listeners. Well, now, you know, the, what a shame. I'm sorry to hear that, because I know there's a lot of talented presenters, and, you know, I oh, actually no. uh, would have been keen to go on that myself, but I don't God know if you're quite fantastic. Up, you know? Absolutely fantastic on what that show. It's doing what you do. Yeah, I think um, we might have... Uh, you know, you know, I've got a reputation for saving radio stations. There was one that, sadly, because of a stewardship problem, I only managed to save what? it for a couple of years. But yeah. um, the the one I started, uh, how long ago? Wait till I see now. Thirty three years ago is still doing very well. Scott yeah. FM were doing very well, and then they got bought, and somebody didn't quite get it. And uh, that's a shame because I would love to have had a you know a shot at Pure Radio and um, seen if we could build it up, you know. Well, the, they said at the I've forgotten the main presenter's name again. He's been you've worked with him in the past, Scotty. But oh, was uh, it Robin? Yes, Robin Galloway. Yes, Galloway. Yes. And I think I was quite upset, Scotty, because like yourself, during lockdown, you were on every day. You were there for the people. You had your talk show, but also that radio station was on. And it's, you know, yourself and the radio station, it helped me get through lockdown, and I'm sure many other people. Um, but they well, said I'm, the marketing wasn't right. Well, I don't and know I that. Maybe, I, I'm, I'm just very sorry to hear that, you know. Yeah. Well, Scott, Scott FM did some great, marketing at the time and then when Scotty appeared we just went for it and then word of mouth to con you know to con or to cough I don't know what one would I, say I don't know if it's to do with in terms of you know when they do PR and there's always money and then they always try to find ways to save money but for me at weekly what I would be doing is getting into the supermarkets doing the prize drawers getting into the shopping centres all of so people know that's pure radio, right? Yes. Okay, great. What are they giving away? Two hundred pounds, fantastic. You know these things that that's what gets word the mouth. That's what. We'll Kareem, get can media. I tell you when Scotty McClue was on Scott FM, if yeah. you'd given away a fiver, the competition mm-hmm. would have been massive. Do you know what I mean? Because it's to do with a bit of fun. It's to do with the nonsense. And the problem is a lot of radio stations, I mean, I don't know uh, a great deal about, um, you know, the ins and outs of a particular station, so I'll not go down that road. But a lot Uh, of it's to do with fun. And, you, you, you know, you can't really just say, we'll just play the music and be the same as other stations. You've got to have the, the chat. And I can remember the same wonderful Robin that you were talking about there. He and I used to do a handover in the morning. Yeah. And the handover was, dare I say, nonsense. We just had a laugh. Yeah. And uh, yeah. he was Feather. I was sorry, I was Feather. And he was Feather's Wayne, the bear. <laughs> There was the bairn and there was feather, and we just had nonsense. Now, the audience went through the roof for that yeah. handover. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. there was banter, do you see what I mean? Well, I think as well, it comes down to two things, and I think it says a lot about people here as well. Are they happy to listen to uh, a radio station that's just like a robot, like the rest? Yeah. Or are they wanting something different? I think it might be a bit of a combination of 
both, both because I do think they could have continued with the PR, with the marketing, yeah. going places, getting that card, getting hype, getting social media, you know, and ha as you say, having fun. That kind of stopped. You know, you've got the other ones which we won't name. They no. did do that, but they're not doing that just they're now not as much. And I think that's something they're missing. They need to start that up again. Well, you see, if you look at the news, the news is terrible. It's desperate. Now, all the news channels are doing is reporting what's happening in the world. And what's yeah. happening in the world, there's terrible, terrible tragedy and everything. Yeah. But if you have too much negativity and too much fear, Kareem, yeah. then what kind of quality of life are people having? So that's mm -hmm. why I say, well, look, we are very aware of what's happening in the world. We're very aware that there's huge negativity out there and what have you. But can we also have a bit of fun for people who want a bit of fun? Yeah. You see? Yeah. Well, I don't listen to the news much anymore, Scotty, be, uh, on the, the TV, because it's, it's, uh, it's all the same. It's just told differently from whatever. Well, I'm listening now to the top story, and then yeah. it's usually pretty tragic, and then I'm afraid that's it, because, yeah. you know, there's there's so much sadness about that people are not needing that in their life. It's not being balanced with joy. Yeah. And we need yeah. uh, you know, we need joy coming out. There needs so, to be joy. Otherwise, you know, what's the point in, in any of it? Do you see what I mean? And I would say yeah. to the very wealthy people, or what is it they're calling them these days, the elites, start yeah. bringing joy to the people. You know, yeah. all your trillions of pounds, they're not going to do you any good. You can only wear one suit. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Somebody once told me, do you know, he's got seven bathrooms in the house, Scotty. I said, well, he can only use one at the one time, <laughs> you know, and, and, and all that sort of stuff. And it's just a little bit strange. And I think the problem we've got with trillionaires and billionaires and, and even multimillionaires is yeah. that they've kind of lost joy in life. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's all very well saying, uh, we are rich people, you're little people, you're nothing, we're, we're, we're somebody. Because in actual fact, they're going to be spending their days having to guard their money. Yeah, yeah. And if it's not from other uh, family members, it's from other people in their elite group trying to take money or steal yeah, X, Y, yeah, all Z. This, all this stealing, stealing, stealing. And really, at the end of the day, and also, um, you know, the idea that they want to own everything because they think they'll be happy. We want to yeah. own everything and be happy. Well, in actual fact, you can't own things. You curate them. Yeah. Do you see yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I mean, That's I mean, a car... You buy from somebody and then you sell it to someone else. A yeah. house, you buy it or you rent it and then you give it over to someone else. Yeah, yeah. Well, at the end of the day, Scott, if you've got a happy public, you've yes. got a productive public, oh, and you have a public gosh. that will spend money. Yes. Absolutely, you know. absolutely. And I think the politicians have completely lost that plot. When did you last get a laugh watching the House of Commons? Yeah, yeah. You know, when did it's you get a proper laugh, you know? It's embarrassing when you watch. I, 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 when, when you hear them screaming and shit, and I know it's like the pantomime effect has always been tradition, but I actually feel embarrassed that we've yeah. got grown adults acting like that. Yeah, it's, it's especially very embarrassing. at the moment when people are suffering, you know? Yeah. Now, either they come clean and say, look, People are suffering intentionally. That's why we've put these policies in to make people suffer. Or, or, sorry, we actually have got quite a lot wrong and we're trying to put it right. You know? I think it's I'm all right, Jack. You know, you know that, that they're all linked to certain organizations, business and boards and, uh, or getting contracts for family members or friends. So they're, not, they're all in it for themselves. And, and well, that's your problem, it. you know. I mean, you've been voted in by the public. Well, I know a lot of the present mob haven't, but you've been voted in by the public. You know, look after the public and they'll look after you. I've always yeah. looked after the public and they've yeah. always looked after me. Here's a guy here, right here, this one, Kareem. 
I hope you're not a communist, Scotty. What kind of half-wit would come out with a comment like that? <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? 